I love Digital Performer because it is my number one go-to workstation and interface for every single thing that I do. Years ago, we used to have racks and racks and racks of gear uh, and all these different keyboards and all this other stuff. Now, almost my entire scene is take, taking place within the computer itself. And it all happens at the control center of DP. DP will do all my MIDI and it will do all my digital audio. Everything is incorporated in one program and I can see it all right next to each other in one track. It's set up super easy. Everything I need is right there. I'm a huge fan of digital performance. I would call DP not a tool, but an actual extension of my hand. You don't, you don't, you don't sit there, you don't go, uh, I didn't pick up a tool and do that. I just used my hand because it's an extension of my arm, it's a part of me. So same thing when you use a, a program like this, I don't call it a tool. It has to be such an extension of my hand that it does not interrupt any creative flow whatsoever. How do I integrate DP into the timing challenge that I have to do in order to prepare tracks for Dave Weckl? Um, I'm a big fan of quantizing because I have to really be accurate with Dave. He's just, there's no fudging, like there's no room for margin and feel and well I felt it this way. He's a drummer, he's got to play to the click, to the quant. And if I want to change it later, then I'll go back after his performance and I'll, I may manipulate it a little bit. But I, I can show you a, a way that I actually use the sequence editor window instead of the event list uh, to quantize a track like an organ solo. If I were to play a solo and a bunch of lines and this stuff, I can show you exactly and I can look at them and, and just lasso the ones that I want to quantize and leave the ones that I don't want to quantize out of the picture. So I'm quantizing, but I'm leaving not quantizing those. So, so keeping them the way they are, hopefully keeping some soul and integrity in, uh, in the track. DP is the best, in my opinion, with, with the tracks window and the way it's all laid out, or at least the way I choose to lay, lay it out. And I've noticed as DP versions uh, expand out, there's definitely more windows into the same room. I'm a big fan of the tracks window. Like I, I, I call the tracks window my home base, and everything starts there. I kept a complete overview of the whole song, of all the tracks, so I have a, my own way of doing things that I like. I, I, I like the region editing much better on, in most cases, and I'm super fast at it. I can go to a region, if I want to take bar 10 to bar 19, and, and do an edit, here's how fast, 10, 19, done. Copy, go to bar 50, paste, done. What I do uh, in my production is I'm using a lot of loops these days, but I'm, I'm using them very creatively and carefully not to interrupt the flow of the drummer, but to add to his forward motion and to his momentum in the groove, and it makes a huge difference. And a lot of times I'll use MIDI, I'll use the event list, for instance, in DP, and I'll put in the MIDI uh, groove of the stylus loop, for instance, and then I'll go in the event list and I'll take all the backbeats and I'll bring them, I'll either take them out or I'll bring them down or I'll bring them out. Uh, but you can, you can, you know, using the event list like that, you can actually modify the loop within the loop. Uh, one of the great things about DP is that I can easily, I've got te uh, template tracks set up here, so I can just point uh, to any one track and play, hit record, and I'm going, and then I just start composing, and I'm there, uh, the creativity's not lost, there's no interruptions, all, all the instruments that I need are just, just there, just like that.